Hayda, if you already using a another cloud service like Google Drive, you might not want to use OneDrive. In those cases, here is how to stop OneDrive sync in Windows. Best thing is, when you stop OneDrive sync, you don't have to uninstall OneDrive. That way you get the best of the both worlds. If you ever wondering, it is re relatively easy to stop OneDrive sync. There are several ways you can prevent OneDrive sync. For example, you can use Group Policy Editor, Pause OneDrive, Sync, Unsync specific folders, unlink the OneDrive account, and uninstall OneDrive. I will show you all these methods. Follow the one you like. You can stop OneDrive Sync temporarily for 2, 8, and 24 hours. This method is beneficial if you are actively using OneDrive but want to stop the sync temporarily for whatever reason. Once the set time is over, OneDrive starts the sync automatically. Here is how to do it. Right click OneDrive icon on the taskbar. Click on the Pause Sync drop down menu. Choose the pause time With that you stop the OneDrive sync temporarily To unpause, wait for the pause time to end Or right click on the OneDrive icon on the taskbar and click on resume syncing option To stop OneDrive sync we can use Group Policy Editor. All you have to do is change a specific OneDrive policy. Important to note that the Group Policy Editor is only available on Pro Education Enterprise Editions of Windows. It is not available on Home Edition. Here is how to do it. From Start Menu, Search Box, type GP Edit. Dot msc from the search result click gpedit.msc option you will see a bunch of folders on the left panel go to the following folder computer configuration administrator templates Window components and OneDrive. In the OneDrive folder, you will find policies related to OneDrive management. Find and double click on the Prevent the usage of OneDrive for file storage policy. Select Enable option from the properties window. Click apply button and click OK button. You can close the group policy editor. Even though the policy has been changed, it is not yet applied. For that, you will have to reboot your Windows operating system. That is it. You have successfully stopped OneDrive sync using a group policy editor. OneDrive lets you selectively sync a few specific folders. For instance, you can do that if you just want to sync your document folder. This option enables you to unsync unnecessary folders. Let me show you how to do it. Right click on the OneDrive icon on the taskbar and select settings option. Go to the account tab in the settings window and click the choose folders button. In the proceeding window, uncheck the folder you don't want to sync and click OK button to save the changes. For instance, I don't want to sync my best script folder. So I uncheck the best script folder and click OK button. That is it. OneDrive now stops syncing unnecessary folders. You will not see these folders in the OneDrive folder. 
You can also stop OneDrive sync by unlinking your user account in the OneDrive application. It, is, it takes a couple of clicks and the procedure is simple. Right click OneDrive icon on the taskbar and select settings option. In the settings window, go to the account tab and click unlink this PC link under the OneDrive section. You will immediately see a confirmation window. Click on unlink account button to continue. You can close this window. That is it. You have successfully unlink the account and stop the OneDrive thing. If you want nothing to do with OneDrive, you can fully uninstall the OneDrive. Unlike other options, there are multiple ways to uninstall OneDrive. You can also reinstall OneDrive as and when needed with just few clicks. Here is how to uninstall OneDrive. Right click start menu. Click settings. Click apps. Click install apps. Find OneDrive. Click the three dots. And click uninstall. This will uninstall the OneDrive. That is it. It is simple to stop OneDrive sync in Windows. I hope this simple Windows how to guide helped you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.